Hi guys, it's uh, Jax here. Um, it's been a, a few days since I uh, uploaded a video uh, and I was just in the yard uh, coming up to the garage here and uh, I kind of th uh, thought occurred to me that um, I would like to make a video to uh, ask you guys to uh, post uh, videos to uh, to all my uh, subscribers to, uh, to if you want to if you want to play along uh, to show me what you uh, uh, what knife you carry every day. So uh, what have you been carrying lately uh, for a, for a knife? Um, so basically, uh, what what your EDC knife is. So uh, so anyways, uh, I don't know if anybody's going to respond. Hopefully they do because that. You guys have a lot of neat knives. There's a lot of uh, knife makers that do their own work and stuff like that. And uh, I wouldn't mind seeing what you guys have in your pocket every day and uh, maybe hear a story about it or whatever. So uh, I guess I'll kick it off. And uh, I have shown this in other videos, so it's nothing new. But uh, it just so happens to be what I what I uh, do carry and what I have carried for the for quite a while in my pocket every day. Uh, so anyway, anyways, uh, every day in my pocket. I have uh, two knives. I have uh, the Spyderco Dragonfly, which you all know pretty well. Full flat ground uh, VG10 blade, a uh, nice little wire clip, and a back lock. Um, I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but I did my own modification to uh, this little Dragonfly. It's a Dragonfly 2. Um, so if you guys are interested uh, in hearing this, uh, you can make your own uh, stone washed blades. Like if you ever seen uh, in your travels, if you ever seen a really well done stone washed blade, they look uh, really great. Like, uh, you know, like Strider knives, some, some Strider knives have a great stone wash. And, uh, and uh, a lot of guys, a lot of makers do uh, the stone wash nowadays. So anyways, what I did is I made my own stone wash uh, thing. And if you, uh, if you have a kid's rock polisher, you know those things that tumble rocks and get them all polished. You can uh, stick, a, you can take your small blade out of your folding knife or whatever knife fits in, chuck it in there with a bit of water and some uh, really round, uh, smaller stones, nothing too huge, uh, and tumble it for a bit. And anyways, I did that to this. It used to be a uh, this, the the base the, the the basic satin finish that Spyderco has. The, doesn't have a high polish or anything like that. I'm not sure if the camera's going to make it out. It kind of turned the blade uh, gray. Uh, so it's not the greatest stone wash, but uh, if you want to make your own stone wash, you can use a rock polishing uh, uh, lapidary uh, device, if I'm saying that right. Or you can make your own out of a uh, big old coffee tin and a, uh, a, a drill. And you could somehow put a bolt in the drill and then and a hole in the middle of the coffee can at the bottom, slide it on, screw it in there, two screws on either side to sandwich it in. Uh, somehow put the, the coffee lid on, uh, put your rocks and water in there, not too much uh, water by the way, and um, you, could, you could probably silicone, um, probably, uh, silicone the uh, coffee lid on. Uh, to, keep, to get some sort of water tightness or tape it up or something like that, but uh, you can uh, tumble your own blades. I'm not sure if the camera's going to capture that, uh, and it's not, but uh, the blade should be really uh, silver, uh, metallic silver, and it's kind of gray, and uh, it's a home done uh, stone wash. So anyways, uh, the Dragonfly is so light that it's one of those things you could put even in a shirt pocket. It's just really really light and you could chuck it in there it makes a great little knife it comes to a really thin uh it has a really thin blade and uh therefore you can get it really really sharp i mean uh you know the it this vg10 is really good blade steel it takes a a tremendous edge it's uh it's known for taking tremendous edge this is a whole uh uh sorry <laughs> This is a whole newspaper kind of thing section, and it uh, takes a really tremendous edge. Like that's you know uh, 15 pages, but uh, VG10 sharpens up really, really nice, and it is a high quality blade steel. But um, <laughs> having a hard time doing that. And this is really, really thin newspaper, so uh, it's. Um, it's good and sharp, so kind of uh, 
hard to do that with this thin kind of paper that's been sitting around. But anyways, so uh, Spyderco Dragonfly is always in my left pocket here. And like I said, it's a uh, really easy carry. And of course, you guys all know, uh, you've seen it before. But anyways, uh, so I, I have the uh, uh, Benchmade uh, Morpho 51 Butterfly in the other pocket with its uh, G10 handles uh, with uh, titanium liners and uh, D2 uh, blade. A really sharp edge I put on this thing. I put a uh, different uh, bevel system on it than what it came with. Really beautiful knife. Uh, expense, this is my most expensive knife uh, that I've ever owned. Um, really, really beautiful. I don't know if you know this, but a Balisong makes a hell of a utility knife. I mean, it might be the strongest of the folding knife designs. Uh, it might be the strongest folder out there because when you, you know, when you lock it in position, it's it's almost like a fixed. It is kind of like a fixed blade folder. It's uh, really good for utility. I mean, a four and a half, a four and four and a quarter inch blade, really good for all sorts of tasks. Uh, for for eating uh, your food and preparing food, cutting watermelons, slicing rope, paper, uh, picking at your fingers, whatever it is that you're doing, picking a sliver out, something like that. Uh, you know, super deadly and super uh, practical utility knife. Just excellent all around uh, blade. Uh, only three, th three and a half ounces uh, weight. It is a long handle, but that's good. You get a whole, um, you get a, you know, you get a manly, meaty grip on this thing. And it carries pretty well in the pocket, uh, believe it or not, for such a, uh, you know, for a nine, uh, not almost a nine and a half inch knife. It, it carries really well. Um, sharpen it up. D2 is such an awesome blade steel. It's been around for so long, but it's, uh, pardon me, but it's one of those ones that it's just a uh, awesome, awesome blade steel. It does have a 1% vanadium, 12% uh, chrome, uh, over 1% carbon, something like, uh, I don't know if it's 1.2% carbon. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, maybe there's some moly in it, molybdenum. I'm not sure, but that's a great blade steel that's been around for a long time, uh, from your grandfather's day and age. And it's an excellent steel. It's it's known for its edge retention. Um, it may not be the toughest steel out there in terms of toughness, uh, but so you know what it makes a. Uh, it would probably make a really excellent um, a pocket knife blade. Something that you're not going to be uh, put. You know batoning through wood or whatever as long as you're not treating it like a fixed blade and I guess I shouldn't say that because there is uh, fixed blades made out of D2 out there so uh, so anyways it, does, it is an excellent blade steel uh, takes it take it takes a really good edge uh, despite what you might hear from some people it gets really sharp really deadly sharp really toothy and aggressively sharp and uh, it'll hold that edge for a really good amount of time along with the knives every day I have two flashlights on me uh, in case anybody's, in case any of my subscribers, I've never actually talked to any of you about this, but a lot of guys uh, have knives and flashlights. It's just something that goes together really well. Uh, and that's from my time on uh, candle power forums and blade forums and knife forums and stuff like that. So uh, I got my, my little uh, super bright um, LED light here. Really bright uh, through night neutron is always in a pocket. It takes a CR123 or a rechargeable CR123 lithium ion and in this one I got my Robinson RCR5 which takes a uh, either a uh, single AA style battery or a lithium ion uh, rechargeable battery or a uh, nickel metal uh, hydride or, or hydride battery or whatever like a rechargeable Duracell type of thing so so those are the guys that are always on me and uh, carpenter pants are really good for, for those of you that uh, don't know you can slide your um, you slide your flashlight into these little, I don't know if it's for hammers or cat's paws or anything, your balisong slides uh, nicely in there. These little thick jeans are good for uh, EDC use. So anyways, um, so yeah, so I'd like to, uh, I'd really like in it and enjoy to uh, see what you guys are using for uh, EDC knives and stuff like that. So uh, feel free to chime in and uh, as usual, thanks for watching and uh, keep the good videos coming. See you later guys. Bye.